Welcome to Retro Relics! This time we're going to explore the 1982 Nabu Personal Computer. The Nabu Personal Computer cost around the same as a Commodore 64. However, there is a monthly service cable charge of between 8 and 10 Canadian dollars. The Nabu service first became available in 1983 via Ottawa's and Skyline's Cable Vision. And by 1984, unfortunately, the Nabu Network Corporation had suffered a 5 million Canadian dollar loss and the service ceased in 1985. The Nabu runs a Z80A processor, 64K of RAM, but lacked any offline storage. However, an optional drive was available. As I'm in Europe, I need a step-down transformer to serve the right voltage to the Nabu personal computer. And after powering it off, I noted the fan was pressing against the sides, so I filed the fins to cool the Nabu personal computer quietly. Okay, so now it's got power, let's switch that monitor on and the Nabu personal computer and let's see what this bit of awesome kit can do. What? Adapter failure? What's that mean? What that means is that you need a USB to RS422 serial port converter adapter cable. You'll also need a 5 pin DIN and some jump wires configured on the adapter port using the pinout on screen. And on the serial adapter, we've got the colours there referencing the pinout on the Nabo personal computer. Once you've configured that, you connect the adapters together, ready to connect to the internet. Now you've sorted your hardware, let's sort the software out. And that is at nabu.ca. So a quick shout out to the RetroNet people and York University in Canada for their Nabu software collection. What we need to do is navigate and download the internet adapter. Select one of the cycles on the left, in this case Nabu Network 1984 cycle version one and click start RS422. Okay, let's uh, navigate to Network Services. And oh look, let's play Pac-Man. And one thing I've noticed is whilst the program is downloading from the central server, it tends to have some sort of advert or intermission screen pertaining to the service. Let's go full screen. Okay, here we have Pac-Man. Okay, that's enough of that. Next. Let's try Qbert.
Okay, just wait here for that dreadful snake. There he is. Good grief, that was close. Okay, just to uh, finish off the uh, the colours on the pyramid. Easy peasy, nothing can go wrong. Ah. Okay, let's try Moonsweeper. Let's have a look at this. Okay, that's enough of that. You can use shortcuts, which are on screen at the moment. And this allows you to type in the RetroNet application name that the RetroNet team managed to salvage from the 80s. Naboo Basic. Let's see what can be done here. I know, let's do the usual 10 print Naboo go to 10. Okay, something different. Capacitors, a favourite of mine. Let's have a look at this. A tutorial. Let's have a look at that. A capacitor is a system that stores stuff. Excellent. Equivalent capacitances. Well, it's adding them all up, isn't it? 44. Next one. Atoms. Let's have a look at that. Oh, look at those electrons go. That's even in sync. Pretty good. Okay, modern science, great. Let's do the quiz. Identify the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. Um, oh, I don't know. Okay, let's try something easy like nouns. What on earth is that? Tutorial. Noun is the name of a person, a place, or a thing. Okay, got it. Quiz. The elevator went up. Hey, elevator. So using the Naboo Internet Adapter, you can actually upload your own programs. So I thought I'd have a go. So for disclosure, I used DJ Shaw's Vows Demo. Using my custom character set, I created the Retro Relics characters on the Naboo and did the best version of Manic Miner I could. Let's have a look at what more capable people than me can do. And for the early 80s, this is a great picture of Rambo. Okay, let's get involved in some mathematics and let's look at a Mandelbrot that's been created. Now, given how long this took to create, I've speeded it up to show you the wonders of the Mandelbrot. And I'll just finish on what's called Plasma, and again, a demo on the specs available of the Naboo Personal Computer. I just think it's fantastic. 